Good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, my name is Tufik Bakhtini. I'm the president of uh, In Defense of Christians. Uh, what we're going to discuss today is the uh, uh, displaced Syrian uh, problem in Lebanon. And uh, we've been working um, all day today, this morning, in meetings with the Department of State and uh, White House meetings to find uh, solutions uh, for the displaced uh, the Syrians in Lebanon. Um, the future of uh, Lebanon is being written as we speak by Syria, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. All these foreign powers see Lebanon as a battleground for their regional ambitions. Right now, the people of Lebanon are protesting against the corrupt political establishment that has too often acted in the interests of foreign governments and not their own people. No party should enter the new government that carries weapons in the name of government, other than the Lebanese armed forces. Hezbollah, Hezbollah should give up their weapons if they wish to be part of deciding Lebanon's future. Lebanon is the last bastion of safety and security for Christians in the Middle East, the place where Christianity began. The Assad regime has historic vision of conquering Lebanon as part of greater Syria. He would like to keep a large population of displaced Syrians in Lebanon. When surveyed, 89% of the displaced Syrians say they would like to return to Syria. Yet 86% say they do not plan to return in the near future, citing concerns about safety and security, housing, jobs, and job opportunities. They deserve the right to return to their homes and live in peace, free from fear of violence. The international community must not leave these Syrians <coughs> without recourse. They must be provided with a path to rebuild their lives in Syria. We are quickly approaching a day when the Syrian birth rate in Lebanon will surpass the Lebanese birth rate. In addition, 79% of the displaced Syrians' births did not fully complete the registration process, leaving Lebanon with nearly 330,000 stateless Syrian newborns. This is the most important point to be addressed in the near future, as these stateless population will likely settle in the country where they were born. Global elitists have told Lebanon to wait until there is a political situation political solution in Syria, and then they will help them. But Lebanon should not be held hostage to the politics of Syria, and then they will help, and then they will help them. But Lebanon should not be held, of course, hostage for the politics of Syria. The international community must come together to provide a solution for displaced Syrians in Lebanon. We don't want to look at a day when the Christians cannot remain safely in Lebanon, as has happened in Syria and Iraq. Uh, together, IDC with, of course, the uh, uh, Maronite Foundation of the World, we have uh, compiled and put together a study on the displaced Syrians in Lebanon. And uh, as I said at the beginning, we've uh, worked all day today with uh, <coughs> um, senior officials from the Department of State as well at the White House to find solutions. So um, for this, I would like to present uh, our Vice President, Tonya Khoury, to discuss uh, this report. And then we will take uh, questions.